Dexcom is changing the way people control their diabetes. So, it's important for everyone to understand what diabetes is. The origin of the term diabetes, or diabetes mellitus, is derived from the Greek word diabetes, meaning to siphon or to pass through, and the Latin word mellitus, meaning honeyed or sweet. This is because in diabetes, excess glucose is found in the blood and urine. Approximately 463 million adults worldwide have diabetes, and 4.2 million deaths could be traced back to the disease in 2019. People with diabetes, especially when undiagnosed, can feel tired, extremely thirsty, need the toilet more than normal. Due to high blood glucose levels, they may develop thrush or genital itching and blurred vision. Wounds can take longer to heal too, and some people see dramatic weight loss. The four main symptoms are the four T's, toilet, tired, thirst, and thinner. These can appear in just days or weeks with type 1 diabetes, or they can develop over several years with type 2. Diabetes mellitus stands for honey sweet flow. Glucose gives us energy, and we get it from food, mainly carbohydrates. The stomach and digestive tract break down these food components into glucose, which joins the bloodstream and is transported to the body cells to give energy to. This raises our blood glucose, causing the pancreas to provide the hormone insulin, which our cells need in order to absorb the glucose, like a key opening the cells and allowing glucose to enter. There are different reasons why this process can fail, and these reasons distinguish the three main types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and gestational diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas has stopped producing insulin because the insulin-producing cells have been attacked by the body's own immune system, autoimmune process. Glucose cannot enter the body's cells, which mean the cells have no energy and you will feel incredibly tired. Glucose levels rise, and before diagnosis and treatment, the body tries to eliminate glucose through the kidneys, leading to increased thirst, which in turn leads to increased urination. Type 1 diabetes often manifests during childhood, teenage years or early adulthood, but can also happen in later adulthood and result in lifelong insulin dependency. People with type 2 diabetes suffer from insulin resistance. This can be caused by genetic predisposition and the individual's potential environmental factors and lifestyle, such as being overweight and lack of exercise. Insulin resistance describes the situation when the insulin produced cannot work properly in its function as a key that allows glucose to enter the cell to produce energy. As a result, blood glucose levels rise and the pancreas releases more insulin, which eventually tires the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas out and production of insulin becomes less and less. Poor lifestyle choices, including poor diet, limited exercise and excess weight, can contribute. If lifestyle and the effectiveness of insulin isn't improved over several years and weight is not reduced, a complete breakdown of insulin production may occur. This can mean that a person with type 2 diabetes may need insulin. Gestational diabetes is a glucose tolerance disorder that first appears during pregnancy. Genetic disposition and being overweight play a major role in developing this form of diabetes. It's usually diagnosed by a 75 gram glucose tolerance test between the 24th and 28th week of pregnancy. The reason? Pregnancy hormones, which are mostly released in the second half of pregnancy, act as an antagonist, inhibiting the effects of insulin accordingly. The pregnant woman therefore needs more insulin than usual. If the body is no longer able to produce sufficient insulin, glucose levels rise and gestational diabetes develops. Although the diabetes symptoms generally disappear after pregnancy, the mother has an increased risk of type 2 diabetes in the future. Type 1 diabetes that is already present before pregnancy increases the risk of developing weight issues and diabetes in the child. Poorly adjusted glucose levels in the mother can also increase the glucose levels of the unborn child, fetal hyperglycemia, and lead to elevated insulin levels in the amniotic fluid. The possible consequence is an incorrect programming of the child's weight and metabolic regulation. Pre-existing diabetes can also lead to other complications, such as premature birth. Close medical monitoring of the pregnancy is therefore necessary. Women with type 1 diabetes and the desire to have children 
should obtain comprehensive information before pregnancy and discuss this with their healthcare team. Due to the increase in obesity in women of childbearing age, type 2 diabetes, which was not diagnosed before pregnancy, is increasingly occurring, leading to elevated glucose levels before the 24th week of pregnancy. This would have comparable consequences for mother and child as in gestational diabetes or in type 1 patients with maternal diabetes. For this reason, women who are at increased risk should be early screened for maternal type 2 diabetes to be able to treat them at an early stage and train them accordingly. For every person with diabetes, life can be a little more challenging. At Dexcom, we are passionate about empowering patients with diabetes to manage the disease with real-time continuous glucose monitoring.